beautiful. <laughs> Melissa, Sherry Lynn Patterson. Today, I choose you. <laughs> because when I look at you, I can feel it. And I look at you, and I'm home. keep it short and simple. We love you so much and you have probably cherished and enriched our lives in so many ways that you don't know. So to Jesse and Melissa, we love you and we can't wait to ugly cry with you. Yay. Cheers. When I think about my life with you, what it has been, what it is now, and our future together as we enter into marriage, I immediately get a smile on my face and an overwhelming feeling of gratitude. You had my heart and will never be more than 14 streets, eight stoplights apart might be married to Jesse's, but you will always be my mess tea. I am so excited to see what the future holds for you. Melissa, you have always been my best friend, but I have always considered you more of a sister. promise to remember that neither of us are perfect, but strive to remind myself of the ways that we are perfect for each other. As I sat to write the speech, reminiscing about time spent with Jesse, thinking about the exciting future that lies ahead of him, I also thought about the son that never came to be. I wondered for a moment why I never felt a loss about that. The reason came quickly. It's because Jesse and I have always had a shared a unique and special bond. It often goes unspoken, but today, I want you to know I love you so much and I cannot be prouder of you. We're gathered here today to witness the formal joining of Jesse and Melissa. If there is anyone, just or sufficient reason, no, 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 no. Why these two should not be joined in matrimony, speak now, I dare you. Or forever hold your peace. Okay, that's good. Jesse, I think of you and I picture your smile as I look up at you. I feel your warm hand in mine. And I think I couldn't imagine my life without you. I am so thankful to have you. You are incredibly kind, generous, and patient. I can't promise you that dark clouds will never hover over our lives or that the future will bring us many rainbows. I can't promise you that tomorrow will be perfect or that life will be easy. I can promise you my everlasting devotion, my loyalty, my respect, my unconditional love for a lifetime. I promise to grow with you and support you. I promise to be patient, understanding, and kind. You've always lifted me up in life and constantly encouraged me to become a better version of myself. I feel the most at home when I am in your embrace. You make my life so much better. I will always make sure there is always food and I promise <laughs> to be my best for myself, for us, and for our future together. For better or for worse, you are my best friend and I can't wait to see what we do together with forever. I love you, honey. And of course, I promise to be by your side for as long as we both shall live. It gives me the greatest honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Yeah. Kiss your wife.
I'd like to thank Jesse's mom for giving birth to such a wonderful, caring young man. It must have hurt giving birth to Jesse, considering how tall he is. And now the hurt is back, but it's a happy hurt, for you're giving up your only son to my daughter. Jesse, you are and always will be my not so little boy. I've always tried to raise my son. Okay, here comes the mushy stuff. To be a caring, loving, sensitive man. Jesse, every time I think I couldn't be more proud of you, something new happens to remind me how lucky and blessed I am to be your mom. Let's raise our glass to the Adams family. Also the last scheduled speech, so bottoms up and get those dancing shoes on because it's about to get messy. 